to another haul video. Today's video is obviously a kitchen haul. I am so, so excited about this video. <laughs> I can't wait to get in there and set all of this stuff up. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I will grab a cup of tea or something because I feel like this is going to be a long one. <laughs> I'm going to start with the biggest thing that I have to show you, which is an appliance. Um, this is absolutely massive and this is kind of what I based all of my kitchen stuff around because this was the first thing I saw and bought for the kitchen and I absolutely love it. You're going to think I'm a complete weirdo when I tell you what it is <laughs> after saying I love it but here goes nothing. It's a microwave. <laughs> I'm going to have to stand up to show you this. Hang on. So this is the microwave that I decided to go for. It is grey, which is why I love it. It's got the dial settings. It's 800 watts, 20 litre capacity, and comes with a two year guarantee, which is really handy. Uh, this was from Wilkinson's and it was 55 pounds. So as I say, that was the first thing that I bought and I wanted all of my appliances to match. So I had to work with the grey and finding grey appliances was actually a lot more difficult than I was expecting it to be but I did manage to do it. I ended up going through three toasters <laughs> before I found the one that I wanted. I went for this Russell Hobbs toaster. This is just the two slice toaster that's got a stainless steel rim and a grey side um, which obviously matches the microwave and this was £28 from Dunnell. I also got the matching kettle to go with that from Russell Hobbs in Storm Grey and it's got a rapid boil feature so on the inside it's got these three little tabs. So you fill the water level to each of these tabs depending on how many drinks you're making and it boils the water quicker and saves you energy. This says it saves up to 70% energy, I don't know how much I believe that but I wanted one that does try to save a bit more energy so I went for this and this was also £28 from Dunelm. And the last appliance that I have to show you is this. This is a hand mixer that I got from Asda for about £10 which I thought was quite cheap because they're normally more expensive than this. It comes with two different attachments and a turbo mode for that quick mixing <laughs> and you can put the attachments in the dishwasher which I thought was quite handy because when I bake I make an awful lot of mess. Moving on from appliances I have four egg cups. These were from B&M and they were £2.49 for a set of four. I did try and buy the ones in Ikea because they have four for a pound but they were sold out when I tried to do a click and collect so ended up not going with that and just getting these instead. This is probably the most random purchase I've made for the kitchen but probably my favourite and definitely something that I'm going to love in my windowsill. <laughs> I've got this little soap dispenser. How cute is this? Chris and I have this weird thing about the tortoise emoji and for some reason, I can't remember why, we named him Chad and as soon as I saw this I was like, oh, it's Chad. So I bought it and this is Chad and he is going to live in my kitchen windowsill. So there we go, <laughs> meet Chad. <laughs> He was £5 from Asda. Also from Asda, I picked up this sieve. This is massive. It's like the size of my face. <laughs> this was £3.50, I believe. If I say I believe or I think for the prices, I bought quite a lot of this quite a long time ago. So I do apologise if I've forgotten the price of everything. But I know the rough kind of area it was in, so I will tell you that. Also from Asda, I picked up these pasta bowls. These were £1.50 when I bought them, and I believe they've gone up to £2.50. So try and get your hands on these while they're cheap. This was the cheapest I've seen a bowl of this size. Something I'm currently storing the pasta bowls in, because I can't be bothered to take them out, is this colander. This, again, was from Asda. This was £4. I bought it because I thought it was on sale for two, and then I went to the till, and it came up as four, but it's still not a bad price for a colander so yeah got one of those also from asda i bought these utensils these are a set of three i've got a slotted spoon a normal spoon and a spatula i went for the plastic utensils over the wooden spoons purely because i've seen so many people on tiktok putting wooden spoons in a glass of boiling water leaving it to sit and then watching all the disgusting stuff come out of it and it's just vile so instead of doing that and scarring myself I got the plastic ones. I didn't actually realise how much I'd bought from Asda, I clearly just kind of went a bit crazy one time but I bought these measuring utensils, I've got some measuring spoons, I've some measuring cups and these were a pound each. Moving on from Asda for a second we have this toothbrush holder and this was from B&M and I just thought this would be really nice to store pens downstairs. Again from B&M I picked up this serving plate. This is actually a really handy size and I thought this would be good for when guests come around and we have 
pizza or want to do a snack board if you're watching a film or something and this was only four pounds from b and going along similar lines to the serving plate i was going with like hostess vibes <laughs> and i picked up this cake stand i have seen these for so so much money they range from like 10 pounds to 30 pounds for a cake stand which i thought was ridiculous so i saw this one for six pounds in bnm and immediately had to buy it obviously it's three tiers and this is just going to be really useful for when i do some baking and have some guests around once again a random purchase but i bought a cupcake core from hobbycraft this was only one pound fifty in home bargains i picked up two bags of food clips these are just plastic food clips but they are so handy for resealing bags. We use them currently all the time in our house and they're so easy to clean and just wash up and obviously they can be reused for anything. So yeah, highly recommend these. These were about 79p. Once again, going with host vibes, I bought some wine glasses from Ikea. I didn't actually realise how big these were going to be because obviously Ikea is closed at the moment so I did a click and collect. Turns out these are actually massive. It doesn't look that big on camera and it didn't look this big in the photos either. Like that's touching my nose so you can kind of see how big it is but this is ridiculous. <laughs> if you want a massive wine glass I recommend these. These were only a pound and I bought four of them. I don't really drink wine myself. These are more for guests and they are going to get very tipsy when they come round if I fill this up. Obviously I know you're not meant to fill a wine glass to the top but still that is a lot of wine. Again from Ikea I bought these bowls. I actually bought these ages and ages ago and these and the pasta bowls are currently the only crockery sets I own. I don't own a crockery set and I don't own any cutlery. <laughs> they are the two key things left that I need to buy for the kitchen but these will do for now. Um, they are just plain white bowls, really deep, really nice size, and they were a pound each from Ikea. Again, hostess vibes, I just get carried away. <laughs> I bought this massive glass jug. This was really, really cheap. This was from a supermarket. I believe it was Sainsbury's, but it was quite a while ago that I got this. And it was like two or three pounds, which I thought was super cheap. So I picked up that. And the final thing I have for the kitchen at the minute, are these glasses i have six of these i believe they were 2.99 from home bargains and they're just the highball tumbler style very basic very plain but necessary you need something to drink out of <laughs> and that is everything that i have bought for my kitchen so far i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you do want to see more from me and more house updates and life updates then either follow me on Instagram because I post quite a lot on there. My Instagram handle is at hatesm28, also on screen now. If you want to see more of my content, then do subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive notification every time I post. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye!